we'll pick up where we left off. Last time was uh, there was a failed, or a, we'll say a, a botched, uh, a wilderness roll, a wilderness. <laughs> um, so uh, we kind of ended up on a note uh, where we're kind of lost a little bit. Um, so you managed to escape the, you know, potentially getting, you know, in, encountering the. Uh, the bog people will call them right now um that were you know coming to investigate their snake whatever being being uh dead so uh, now uh running from the 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 hole in the ground where you fell through um climbing out through the hole where the the ground gave way fell down into the pit um you pretty much scrambled away um the dead tree huge ancient tree that had fallen over blocked your view completely so they uh don't seem to know where you're at they don't seem to know that you escaped they don't even know that you were there uh, as as far as you know um now in your escape um Let's see, who was it going to be? Oh, everyone. Uh, running through. Okay, this area here is still very peaty. It's just peat, you know, mounds of the... It's not really swampy right here. So, But there is a lot of vegetation growing. Running through it, everybody's got cuts and scratches on you uh, from uh, something called razor grass, which is like... I, it looks like yucca, but it's got sharp, sharp edges. And running through that, just got, got everybody got nicked up pretty bad. Um, not to, amounting to any damage on your character sheet or anything like that, but uh, that's kind of mixed up in the tall grass. Um, now, you've got to a point now where um, you have absolutely no way of really determining where you which direction you need to go based on the map that you that you've made so um I tell you what give me a uh, Robbie and uh, um Ron give me both a uh, um I guess we should just do this as a uh, What's I'm thinking of what skill we need to check here for this. There's not like an awareness, like a general, like no, I think you need observation. To kind of lose the whole notion of general awareness checks. Um, yeah. The I think more importantly is uh, if I interpreted this correctly. If we're getting attacked, then basically you just say whether we're surprised or not, or there's some relevant role specific to the situation. Um, yeah. And if you wanted to have such a role, then in this situation, as far as I understand it, outdoor survival might count. Whereas if we were, for example, being attacked by some mythological creature out of a vortex, then arcane knowledge would count or something like that. But what right, I right. To say is that that's all just presuming we're about to be attacked. If we're not about to be attacked, then, and this is just some sort of informational role, then you sort of need to decide whether it's even a role or not. Right. Yeah, I, I think that's. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is – I was looking to see if the traveling skill would be useful in this even, and no, because that's based on you knowing where you're at. Uh, let's do the, the wilderness survival. Outdoor survival, okay. It is plus one. I have a 13 or greater, and I hit a 13 plus one is a 14. All right, and uh, Robbie? Well, I don't have the. You wanted me to roll on wilderness survival. That's not a skill that I have. I mean, I can. You're allowed with a minus five. Right. Minus five. Oh, I thought it was minus. For some reason, I think it's minus three. That's fine. Yeah. 
and, and wilderness survival is off of what attribute? Is that off it's of intelligence? intelligence? Yeah. Okay. Um, I need quite high. I'll, I'll just roll. See if I'm even in the ballpark. <laughs> no, no. Right. I, no I, chance. Okay. Yeah, that's not <laughs> well, I mean, you know. She just goes. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. You're looking off into the distance, just away from the tree, and you you see an area with a lot of trees, a lot of hills. Um, it seems like it's a little bit higher than you're at now. Um, and of course, you also see an area that's just like stale water it looks like bog sort of like where you first came in where there's a lot of the straight trees and um you know a lot of crows in that area okay so uh here's my question we are currently in an area that does not look suitable for a nighttime camp based on last session's role um night is at least you know, we can see night from here, even if it's not on us yet. Um, and we know we don't have a clear way back. So um, so what you're telling us is that this new role allows us to kind of get the lay of the land a little bit better and to distinguish between a nasty, smelly, standing water spot and a somewhat, somewhat drier, more brushy spot. Is that right? Right. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So uh, seems pretty straightforward. We need to head up there, and um, you know, we didn't find a good place to sleep for the night, but we can at least get out of this area with, you know, who knows what crawling out of the bog. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, okay. So a lot of tall grass going that direction. Um, you you do run into a. Uh, like a small, like a creek. Um, it's kind of deep. Um, uh, a lot of moss, and so this is going to be a little bit of a of a uh, rough journey to get across because it's uh, all the hills and everything is slippery, moldy. Um, I want everybody. Can you do do a just a, a roll a d twenty for me? Sure. Ooh. I get me an 18. I, I rolled a 17. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. All right. All right. We're making a okay. nice start to this session anyway. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, uh, so you come across, uh, come across the, the, uh, the Creek. No problem. Um, A lot of cattails here, and then past the cattails, you see the the hill starting to form, and um, it's really a beautiful place. There's wildflowers growing in this area, and um, you don't see more of the razor grass, so that's good. Um, uh, further going into this further, you get to the top of one of these hills, and you can see what looks like an old, like a shack or something. This looks old. Um, like it's really like it's been there for a while, but it's uh, it doesn't look like it's fallen in or anything. So it looks like a place that would be some shelter for you. The, the, um, are there any signs that it's being occupied? I mean, there's... you see no smoke or anything like that. You don't see anybody around. Just from a distance, you know, half a mile, uh, you don't see anything that would indicate that there is a uh, uh, presence at all. Uh, the only real life that you see, you know, you see, um, they're called quivlings. Uh, they're just like basically like small little creatures. Uh, these are uh, lizards, small lizards with uh, wings that can hop really good. And they're just flitting around on the ground like a bunch of uh, birds but you know they're, they're not flying they're just running all around in little groups together but 
they stay away from you. That's just the only kind of interesting other kind of life form you've encountered this way. Well, the, the gods certainly seem to be smiling on us once again. I mean, we're, we're looking for a place to camp for the night, and lo and behold, uh, a shack appears. Yeah, this is, a, this, is a, 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 this is definitely in just the right spot for you, too. Even Hanu is going to consider that a little rosy in outlook. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, uh, right, I'm like, yeah. you know, yes, <laughs> goddess, and I'm like double check and look at myself. Think, wait a second. <laughs> you know, so, wait a minute yeah, here. Yeah, I'll exchange a quick look with my, uh, with with the rest of the of the group. Um, and the these quivlings are, I mean, are are they like? Is this normal that that these kind of uh, hopping lizards would be around uh, this? this I mean, they, they are a. Um, the type of creature is uh, pretty commonplace, pretty yeah. much everywhere. Um, but you've not seen the lizard type. Um, usually, they're like squirrels with wings. But this is just maybe a—it's a magical creation. Um, they're a magical creation, but uh, the uh, squirrel, the wing squirrels, are the ones that people see all the time. Uh, that's. You know, just a common sort of thing. Well, you don't mind me saying that's just weird. Um, <laughs> could, uh, here's here's kind of my question. Um, should we... Uh, tell me a little more about this whole shack situation. I don't have a good, clear visual. Partly my fault, because I was looking something up, which I'm still looking up. Which no. is certainly, sorry. But... Uh, God, I am having a hard time finding my my spot in this book. Yeah, I, I think Pixie, you know, is interested in the shack, but I, I think she shares Hanu's uh, hesitation, slight hesitation and, and curiosity about, you know, uh, looks great for us, but uh, where there's a shack, there may be... Uh, there may be some something inside uh, that that uh, uh, we don't expect. So, you know, I, I think Pixie would like to get a yeah a, a, a better look at the shack without like if there was something inside looking out without making our our presence known. Oh yeah, well, that's a great suggestion. Except that we are distinctly non stealthy. Um, this has been established several times, and. Um, I think it might be better to, to approach the place because night's falling. I'm not going to just sit here. We already wasted a ton of time sitting down there in that stupid basement. Um, and so uh, I think we're better off just sort of forming up, approaching in an organized, not overtly hostile way. Um, and uh, seeing if anybody is involved um scott help me out again i'm again apologize for being a little bit uh distracted for a minute there tell me it's what fine. does this place look like exactly and what what's the terrain i mean i need a visual of where we are in my head okay yeah you are about half a mile from this um at the top at the crest of like a mound it's just like i said it's just a beautiful area of the you know a lot of wildflowers and things like that this is right. uh um just like the most picturesque part of the place you've been to so far. Um, With cute but uh, now, woodland creatures, yes. Right, right. And uh, now you look off in the distance, about half a mile, you can see there is another mound, uh, a peat mound with uh, scattered cedar trees. And there is a, um, it's, it's like a hut. Now you can see this old world style building. Um, it kind of looks like, you know, like ruins, like it's been there for a long time. Like if you can imagine like an old battlefield of Civil War type situation where, you know, the wood planks on top okay. and uh, just like. Good enough. Let's but there's not there. any smoke. 
Right. There's no smoke, you say? No smoke or any signs of anybody right. around. Let's head over there and set up camp. All right. And we got to All right, now this set up for the night somehow and that's what we'll do. Okay, so uh now you uh, as quietly as possible and as uh you know non aggressively as possible you all, all approach and yeah there is nothing here nothing um a lot of cobwebs that's about all you find but this is a uh, rather you know big place now the, the the ceiling the roof is is not really good it's like if it was to rain start raining that would be a problem it's going to come right through but for example or at least parts of walls. yeah okay 